All right, so now let's go ahead and finish with the character. So as you can see, I connected some of the pieces as I did last time, connected the face. I connected the, the shirt, the back, I made it one piece and the front, I made it one piece. I also connected that with the pants and I connected the hat I made it one piece for both sides as well as the hair and that's all that I connected so now that we're actually done with everything I'm going to use what is called UV Deluxe and I have the link in the description so you can get UV Deluxe and pretty much you're going to type the code under Python make sure you type the code and press enter the instructions are in the description and you're going to get this window set this to 2048 by 2048 and I'm going to go to UV and select everything and on the ratio I'm going to set it to a let's see I'm going to use the te texture size that we're going to use for the final which is going to be a 2048 now set the ratio actually going to undo and set that ratio again it was having problems for some reason all right this is what it should look like and now we can go to polygons layout options box and set the set the prescale to world and everything else should be fine and under spacing presets I'm going to set it to 2048 or 1024 should work fine and do a layout and now everything has been packed into that UV space notice that it's not necessarily the best pack that we have here so we can go ahead and do some manual changes if we want to which is what I'm going to do I'm just going to pack it my own way which I prefer let's go to object mode now and if you may remember I have these little pieces separate and that is why I also have that little piece separate and this is because I'm going to do something right now actually I want to make sure that I combine those except the ones that are on the gloves let me do the same process again Okay, so that should be fine. But notice that I have a few pieces that are separate, especially these pieces. And that's because I only wanted to UV unwrap one piece for those because they're the same, which is this one. So now if I go to face, double click that face, this one, and go to edit mesh, duplicate face. And just press Q. Now, if I select it, I can see that the UVs are right there. All right. We go to delete my history. So now I'm going to transfer the UVs from that piece to this piece right here. So I select that piece and then this one. Now I'm going to mesh and I'm going to transfer attributes. And what I'm going to change here is where it says component. I'm going to set that to component and press apply. And now they should have the same UVs. There you go. So they both, since they're the same object, they're the exact same object. And now I can transfer the UVs from that one to this one. 
to say apply. Now this queue should have the same UVs. So they're overlapping which is okay because they're the same piece. So I'm going to combine those two. Go to mesh combine. And I want them to be on the other side as well. So I'm going to duplicate special options box. And I'm going to set it to copy. And negative one on the X. Now they're on the other side. And now I can combine everything. So that I only have one whole thing. And again you can pack everything better. And this concludes the UV unwrapping series. One last thing I'm going to delete history. And now we're actually completely done doing the UVs. Again I will pack the UVs better here but as I said this works fine either way.